So Democrats are saying they won the presidential election. It's over. You're not allowed to talk about it anymore. They'll hurt you if they do. They're flooding our streets. They're victorious. But the weird thing is they're still angry. Some of them seem madder than ever. So mad they want revenge for having to live in a country with a president they didn't vote for. In Philadelphia this week, in a mob of about 1,000 Joe Biden voters beat an effigy of the sitting president. Why'd they do that? They say they just beat him, but they did. Sandy Cortez called for activists to, quote, archive the name of Trump supporters. And then today, a well-funded Democratic operation, funded mostly by hedge fund managers and Silicon Valley tycoons, it's called the Lincoln Project, tweeted out personally identifying information for the attorneys representing the Trump campaign in voter fraud litigation. Quote, here are the two attorneys attempting to help Trump overturn the will of the Pennsylvanian people. They also encouraged lunatics to harass attorneys at another prominent law firm representing the Pennsylvania Republican Party. Make them famous, the Lincoln Project said. How's that different from hurt them? Well, of course it's not. Where's this going and what's it about? Tammy Bruce, one of the most insightful people on topics like this. We're happy to have her. She's the host of Get Tammy Bruce on Fox Nation. Tammy, thanks for coming on. So what? Why, when they say they've won, would they be even angrier? And why, further still, would they be trying to get people they disagree with hurt? Well, it's in their nature. And we've seen this play out actually before this election. The riots, right? That is a signal of this as well, is an effort and a desire to punish people who are different, who accomplish something different from you, who maybe embarrassed you, who make you feel per perhaps inadequate. And it's not, you know, their fault, but it's about this notion on the left that any problem you have is due to someone else. Someone else did it to you, and that's going to have to right. manifest somehow. But all of these projects have resulted in lists, and it's in media. It's, yes, the Lincoln Project. Another project was announced after that AOC tweet called the Trump Accountability Project, which is a list, Tucker, of Supreme Court justices, regular judges, White House staff, family members, uh, other politicians who assisted President Trump. It is literally a Stalinistic tactic. And the making of lists in our history, of uh, the hu human history, has never ended well. But it does provide us a stark alarm about what people are capable of and what they want to do. So when people have thought, Oh, the Democrats and, and the people that hate Trump and have been doing all of this are well-meaning. They're just misguided. No, no, they're not well-meaning. They know what they're doing. These are smart political people. They understand the history of this, but they're doing it because they feel they can. And the American people rejected it, interestingly, in this election. Down ballot, it was a red wave. And if they continue on this track of cancel culture and purge lists, the American people are going to give them another kick in the bottom in 2022. And also uh, in Georgia with those two senators, people are going to be looking at these runoff elections thinking, is this what we want? Well, I hope so, because what's interesting and alarming is they weren't doing this last week or last year when they thought they had less power. The second they thought they had control, they became more extreme. Shouldn't they calm down and be magnanimous? Why are they doing this now? That, that worries me. Well, well, they've, they've always wanted to do it. They're doing it now because they feel that there'll be genuinely no repercussions. There'll be no problem. Right. That they, in fact, maybe will be rewarded. I'm waiting to hear the Biden campaign, Kamala Harris, the Obama campaign, everybody condemn this, repudiate it. We have yet to hear that. So we have this message of unity and healing, but ignore the guillotine, Tucker, because that's a mostly peaceful machine. Ah. Tammy, I knew you'd explain it. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.